All right, so the next phase is putting the terminal ends on to all of the ends of the harness. We don't put them on in the beginning because of course they're not gonna pass through all the small spaces. So I tried to design this to be as easy as possible at the end. So all we're doing right now is, is stripping the little wire end, crimping these uh, butt connectors onto it, and heat shrinking them. The butt connector that we use, you, you wanna get a good solid crimp on it, um, but also the glue in the in the heat is going to fasten it to to the uh, to the wire. So we'll start with this one that's directly behind the uh, the seat, and it's this pack here, our UV electrical pack, um, the USB driver, forward driver, aft, and passenger. These are the little four clips for the passenger side. So I'm just gonna stick them over on the passenger side. These are the two splices that go in the very rear of the vehicle. So I'm just gonna toss those over in the corner back there. And we'll look at this, what I nickname in the shop as the dog leg. Um, this is the way it looks because part of it passes forward here and comes out in this bay right behind us here and this part right here with the, the pink butt connector that's in the front side here and we're going to start by you'll, you'll notice the red we'll, so we'll attach the red to the red side the black to the black side Start by stripping these. This is a 12 gauge wire here. So I'm just putting it on the 12 gauge side, stripping the wire back, and we will use our crimps. So I'm gonna use this little lighter to do the heat shrink. The best work method though is to use a heat gun. Um, we're in the field here at Overland Northwest. And um, so we're just gonna use the little lighter. You're not going to want to torch the, the uh, Watch it like that. With the wind blowing, it's harsh. The important thing with this is that you don't, when you crimp, you're not cutting through the heat shrink. And when you shrink with a heat gun, of course, you're gonna avoid any of the burn. Um, the critical point with here is that you're heating up all of the glue that is on the inside of this, um, of this butt connector, and that will fasten itself really hard to the wire itself. So this is done here, and we're going to move our, our, uh, ourselves down to the, well, let's go ahead and, and shoot all of the, so in the back one here, I like to just basically go down to about the length uh, to where it touches the floor. This is not a critical amount of length here, but I'll just cut it for the sake of showing everybody. I go ahead and just chop it straight off, slip this back so that I can work and strip these ends. So for the passenger side, we're just using the little female connectors here. Now, 
when you're using uh, the butt connector that has a sheath of, of, of heat shrink on it, do not use the crimp that is the spike. That's just to be used for the metal butt connectors. This one, I'm using the softer edge right down here to crimp this. And if you, be, that way you don't tear through the, uh, the heat shrink. Okay, and now we use our lighter to run the heat shrink all the way down. So we're going to do that on the front ones too. If these ends are n not the same, don't worry about it. Just make them the same. Go through. Strip that wire. Okay, same thing here. I'm making sure that there's plenty of slack in the line getting to this point. I basically just touch it to the floor. It's not a critical cut, just gives us enough space to work with. Slide this back up so that I have room. Just strip these ends off. I'm stripping about three eighths of wire off of these ends here. Black to black. So, the back black into the butt connector here. And red to red. We just did the, the USB and 12 volt terminals down below. And now we're going to stick, these are, two of these um, are Metri packs, right? So these will plug into the light panels. Um, it'll say two light terminals. It'll go onto the yellow light terminal that you have here. So we'll open this pack. It's the same process as the others. We're just going to be um, putting the red to the red and the black to the black on the butt connector side of things. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is strip these ends. <coughs> and then we'll crimp the black to the black. And the red to the red. What I'm making sure I'm not doing is jamming the wires in there. I want them all to fit smoothly inside the butt connector. If they're split and they're frayed going in, please straighten them out and make sure that they're all tucked into the butt connector nice and tight. Once you've crimped the ends, 
We'll go ahead and heat shrink and again we're using the lighter but I prefer a heat gun. It's just a much nicer way. You don't have to worry about burning anything um, and it heats the glue nicely without overheating the, uh, the wire. All right, so this is working, but it's not my preferred method. If we have a heat gun available, I prefer the heat gun. All right, and I'm just making sure that the glue is melted, connecting all the way around. I like to have the glue connected all the way around. Yeah. Okay, fast forward to this. Okay, so here's the rear fan. Again, uh, I don't need this much length, so I'm going to cut it. Scoot this back so that I have plenty of space to work with. And strip them. Do you guys have a transit right now, Chad? Yeah. I bought it a couple of...